What's going on? It's your big brother once again, Trend Genius, coming back at you with another incredible, exclusive banger. Okay, this is going to be a really great video, y'all. Um, I'm glad you tuned in to this video. Um, let's get down into it. I ain't going to waste no time, man. Listen, divine powers are always working for us because we do right. You probably like, Trend, where you at now, dog? Where you at? Listen, man, I'm... I'm out here in the woods. I wanted to make this video and, and be as authentic and realistic as possible, you know, to make this video. So I wanted to like, you know, reconnect my whole spirit with just, just nature, period. So I just walked in the woods. And as you can see behind me, this shit look like the Blair Witch Project or some shit. Like you got trees knocked down everywhere. I'm pretty sure at nighttime, it'll be scary as hell back here. Like you'll probably see some ghosts or something walking through these woods, okay? But um, you know, this is a prime example of what dreams are like. You see how this tree is broken? It's dreams are distorted, distorted uh visions that you are having when you astral project. Okay, a dream is nothing more than you astral projecting. Okay, that's what's happening when you go to sleep at night because we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Okay, when you go to sleep at night and you are experiencing dreams, what's actually happening is your soul is literally leaving your body invisibly leaving your body and traveling to all the dimensions in the universe okay why because like i said we are spiritual we are spiritual beings we are souls all right um some of y'all religious people y'all probably wonder like um you ever wonder why they call like uh like the god force like the holy spirit <clears throat> the holy spirit or have you ever heard the term um the holy ghost you might ask yourself, why would they call like something that's so godly or so good like a ghost? That's always been known as something that's scary. No, listen, listen. I'm about to explain it to you all in this video. Once again, stay tuned through this whole entire video. My 1% people, my 1% is y'all stay tuned. Star seeds constantly co-creating our own reality. Let's talk about astral projections dreams lucid dreams and ghosts what's really going on trend listen first things first this is what you need to know now this is very important nowadays we live in a society where time has sped up okay time has been speeding up so fast that like nobody really notices it like we already at the end of the year the new year like happened like yesterday like we already at the end of the year right like damn where they do that at and the reason why this happened is because time has sped up, okay? That's why energy is rising. That's why this big shift is going on. You know, people are awakening all around the world. You know, all these uproars and stuff like that. That's because the energy and the vibration of the earth is rising. And we have to rise with it. We are ascending. We are constantly ascending. But some people are not going to ascend because they don't know what I'm about to tell you in this video. Listen. So with that being said... It's very important that you you get sleep, okay? I know some of y'all be like, man, my energy levels be super high. It be hard for me to sleep. That's good and all, but you got to get sleep sometimes, okay? You cannot deprive your body of sleep. Sleep is essential, all right? The only, why, the only reason why I'm even making this video and I'm so clear-minded right now is because I got good sleep last night. I got, I got my eight, nine hours of sleep in. I don't know about you, but I'm getting my sleep over here. <laughs> Where they do that at? Yeah, that way. But anyway, you you have to get sleep, man. I mean, you know, I know some of y'all probably be experiencing symptoms like what uh, insomnia and stuff like that. But you got to realize that the mind cannot function if you are not well rested. OK, just just notice people who never really rest. You can see it in their face like they face they face. And, and, and the, 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 their, their antics and their mannerisms are sluggish. They're tired. It's as if they're drunk. Like you can literally, you can literally be behaving as though you are like drunken because you don't have any sleep. You can't think straight. Okay. And you're not going to be able to use a hundred percent of your brain power. And you're not going to have a clear mind if you don't get enough sleep. Okay. So first things first, after this video, you got to promise me that you're going to start getting your seven to eight hours of sleep at night. You got to get your sleep. You got to stop staying up these long nights and then expecting to function at 100% optimum power the next day. It don't work like that. All right. Sleep is very important. 
All right, the next thing is you got to understand this about astral projection and dreams. All right. All right. The, the spiritual world and the spiritual world and the physical world are basically the same thing. OK, it's not separate from us. It's not some place that we're going that is that is not present right now. Every time you are dreaming, you are literally walking in your kitchen. Like you literally, I mean, I know some of y'all done had dreams where you you literally be in your room and you're like, how the fuck am I still in my room? But I know I'm dreaming because you are astral projecting. Now, here's here's the thing you need to know about astral projection. <clears throat> you know how when you were born, right? Everybody's born with an umbilical cord, right? An umbilical. Why is it why is it that we attach to an umbilical cord? Because we had to get all the nutrients and the supplements from our our, our carriers out of our mother's womb. OK, it had to be transfer transfer into us in order for us to like still be able to live while we were inside of our mother's womb. Right. It's the same thing with spirituality. It's the same reflection with spirituality. There is an umbilical, there's an invisible, there's an invisible umbilical cord that is attached to our physical body and our spiritual work, uh, the, our souls. Okay, that's why you. That's why when you go astral project at nighttime, you can travel to many different places, but you will never, you'll never die. You'll, you'll never die, or you'll never get lost in the in the spiritual world or another dimension because you're gonna always come back to your body because you are connected to what it's like an umbilical cord to your soul. Okay, it, that's why that's why we have physical umbilical cords while we are you know in the womb of a mother because it's the same thing everything that's why i'm telling y'all everything spiritual is a reflection of the physical okay everything spiritual is a reflection of the, of the spiritual all right i know a lot of people um a lot of people be hitting me up and they be like train yo i mean i'm seeing things like i'm seeing ghosts and you know i'm seeing paranormal activity all that, what's happening is like i said ain't ain't nothing different about the spiritual world than the physical world it's all reflections it's just that we have been so dumbed down as a society and we have been so programmed that we can't even see half of us really we get a little burst a little spurt of seeing inside the spiritual world from time to time like some of y'all get revelations some of y'all have visions premonitions epiphanies you know what i mean we get a little hint of it from time to time but we cannot get back to our true divine self until we actually work on it. OK, so that's why you be, you probably be seeing ghosts and stuff like that. You know, I know a lot of star seeds. They y'all are have extrasensory perception. OK, you have extrasensory perception, which is literally it's like a gift. OK, for you to be able to like see people and entities and things and stuff like that. Or whatever the case may be the, the reason why you see the reason why ghosts is ghosts are not something scary that they make it out to be okay when you see like a ghost or something when you see a ghost or when you hear some sound in the house or something some creaching or something like that you are probably getting a little whiff of something that is happening in another dimension okay there's something that's happening in the spiritual world and it just so happens to leak out into the physical okay it just it just leak it just leaks out into in, into the physical, you know what I mean? That's why like people, um, you you might heard of time travelers or whatever. Yeah, he, he crossed the street right in front of a truck. How did this happen? What is what is this? It's the same thing. It's it's just like when you go to sleep at night and you astral project, and you walking across the damn street, and some in in another country, and you like yo, how did I end up in another country when I've never even visited there before? One thing you got to understand about the soul, folks, your soul, your spirit, it, it never dies, first of all. And second of all, like I told you in my previous video, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to me. But like I told you all in my previous video, one, the more spiritual you become, the more conscious you become, the more you begin to raise your vibration and you begin to come back to your true divine nature, your true divine self, who you really truly are. All right. The more you will feel multidimensional. Which means the more you will feel like you are everywhere at one time, okay? And the more you will begin to astral project at night. I know a lot of people, a lot of people I know too, a lot of people that I know too, they always say, yo, trend genius, bro. I ain't having no dreams at night. And then I got a lot of people that I talk to, they like, yo, I have a dream every single night. Um, it's just like me. I dream every night. It ain't no night that I don't have no dream. Why? 
because I'm, I'm, I'm very, very awake and I'm very conscious of everything that's going on in our universe. Not everything, but the majority of the things versus the average person. Okay, so um, like I said, the more spiritually connected you become to the infinite intelligence, the source, God, whoever you want to call it, the more you will begin to have visions. Some of y'all probably will have visions in broad daylight. Now, I ain't really never experienced that, but speak up, let your voice be heard, leave a comment below and let me know and let us all know if you had visions in broad daylight. That's another that's another type of uh, gift. That's another type of gifting. Um, I know some people have the vision of seeing angels and spirit guides and orbs and all kind of just all kind of miraculous things in broad daylight. Speak up, let your voice be heard if you're one of those type of star seeds that can like literally see visions in broad daylight. All right. Um, but like uh, me, I'm the type of person I go to bed and I have a lot of dreams. All right, so you might be having lucid dreams at this point in your spiritual journey, which is lucid dreams are like the type of dreams that are very vivid. You can see in full color, HD clarity. You can remember people. You can smell smells. You can, you know places. You know street signs. Like if you can wake up in the morning and you can literally recall your dream, you know, uh, from scene to scene, exactly what you did. You don't even need to write it down because it's just so vivid that you remember it so well. Okay, if you're to that point in your dream world, then you are having lucid dreams. Okay, and if you're having lucid dreams every night, then you are very, very, very conscious. Okay, you're very, very awakened. Okay, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing because once again, you got to keep in mind the more spiritual that you are becoming, the more your physical reality won't even appear like it's a real physical reality no more. I don't know if y'all been watching me regularly, how many times you don't watch my videos, but sometimes I make videos where I'm so deep into the making the video, like I, I literally feel like I'm dreaming sometimes, and sometimes I like I almost kind of like like zone out, you know, I, I catch a little epiphany, like a little hit. And I'm just looking around at the screen of space of everything around me, knowing that it is a part of the spiritual and the physical at the same time. OK, um, so like I said, once again, keep in mind that the spiritual world and the physical world are friends and they are reflections of each other. OK, so that's why it's, that's why they say karma is real and all this and that and um whatever you believe, how you can bring your thoughts into reality, because, you know, being a spiritual being and using your brain to to think or create thoughts in your mind for you to begin to believe a certain kind of way. That is something that you nobody cannot see. You can't even see your thoughts. But for some strange reason, you are self-developing. Like for some strange reason, you are rewiring your whole entire brain inside of your brain. OK, you are rewiring thoughts and neurons in your brain you are literally a neuroscientist doing the work on your own body when you are self-developing you know when you are reading a book to become more psychologically conscious or more cognitively psychological or whatever you want to call yourself more theoretical <laughs> more methodical or whatever you're trying to do you are literally doing surgery in your brain in your mind and so what's happening is invisibly since we are spiritual beings having a human experience and your thoughts cannot be seen invisibly the things that you are rewiring in your mind are played out in your everyday reality wow now that's deep right now that's 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 when i'll be about to zone out in my videos i'll be like yo this is way too deep for me trend this is because it's my spiritual self talking to myself yo trend bro what you doing down there man you getting deep. Listen, it's getting deep. Star seeds constantly co-creating our own reality. So, you know, what's what's done internally has to be expressed externally. OK, what's done in your mind has to be expressed on the screen of space. All right. So here's how you astral project for those of you who have a hard time even trying to astral project and dream okay here's how you act actually astral project and you can trust me i've did this numerous times as a matter of fact i did it i did it last night about two or three times that's why i'm making this video because i was literally astral projecting outside of my body and i could feel my body like an object but i was in my soul leaving my body okay here's here's another fact that you should know that i missed okay you are a soul inside of a temple, okay, a.k.a. a body, all right? You're not in your arms, <laughs> you're not in your stomach or nothing. 
you are in your mind in the middle of your mind it's called the seat of the soul the ancient egyptians called it the pineal gland okay you are literally in the middle of your mind as a soul and you are controlling every every uh, part of your whole body okay but you're up here you know how you know you're up here because if you took your brain out your skull what would you see out your eyes you would not see anything you're just it'll be darkness it'll be void but your mind you're like i said you're in your mind you're in your brain in the very middle which is called the seat of the soul okay you're actually a giant here on earth but to everybody else you know we seem like just regular sized people but in all actuality when we're compared to like a bug or an ant or a fly or a squirrel or a bird they see us as the giants and the kings and the queens that we truly are but so much has been lost so much has been forgotten we are kings and queens living in amnesia okay so this is how you lucid dream all right so they're about one two three four five six. i think there are like six states of consciousness that you have to that you're going through at all times throughout the day uh you got the alpha you got uh you got the alpha you got beta you got theta you got delta and you got gamma okay the only two you need to worry about is theta and delta all right why do you think delta airlines call themselves delta because they're in the deep state up in the sky okay what's above is below okay even though they're high and they're not deep which is which what delta means that's the same representation of what's above is below delta airlines okay delta waves in your brain is the most deepest state of consciousness when you are asleep at night that's when you in REM sleep that's when your eyes is twinching and you literally astral projecting but what you got to do is first of all you got to start getting sleep that's why i said it at the very beginning of this video all right you got to start getting sleep so that you can get your body in the arcadian rhythm to be able to want to go to sleep okay some of y'all are not sleeping enough because your body is out of the arcadian rhythm you need to take melatonin or something so you can get your body back on the natural sleep cycle because this is important if you want a lucid dream and you want to find out things that you can never find out in a physical reality that's a secret and you have to go inside your dreams like inception and figure it out and bring it back to reality okay but what you got to do is I keep getting around to it. It's like I ain't never going to talk about it. Ever. But now I got you. So what you do is you lay down. You lay down, right? You lay down at night. Okay? Uh, preferably drink a glass of water before you even start to sleep. That's very healthy for your body before you wind down. Okay? Now, when, you, when, you're, when you're winding down, what's happening is your brain processes are slowing down. Okay? Your brain, your thoughts are slowing down. You'll notice you'll stop... The, the inner dialogue will stop moving so much. You won't be thinking so much. You'll notice you'll start to get more calm and calm and more relaxed. All of your muscles in your body will start to communicate to each other like, oh, she's sleeping. She's about to relax. So they'll, they'll you know, they'll kind of slowly, the blood will slowly start pumping in your body. Your heart rate will slow down and the whole body begins to shut down. All right. Now, now mind you, you are still conscious because you about to lucid dream. Okay. You are still conscious meaning you just laying there but inside of your mind in your soul you are still aware of the fact of what you're what you're about to, excuse me what you're about to do okay but you don't have to talk to yourself because your mind is already reading you and listening to you and, and already winding down and so what's going to happen is this is when you're going to hit the theta okay you're going to hit the theta your theta brain waves now theta is when you can literally experience yourself extra projecting from your body into the into the uh other dimensions of the universe all right you're only going to be able to experience this like in a little flash i would say even two minutes it probably be a two minutes before your brain goes into you know uh automation automated mode and you will just be sleeping okay you're only going to experience this two minutes you're going to get a flash of this in like two minutes maybe one minute it's going to be very short but oh my god the experience is priceless so when you begin when you're when when you begin to wind down and your brain begins to like shut off a little bit what's going to happen is you're going to start having hallucinations all right you're going to have you're going to start having hallucinations and visions and also you're going to hear you're going to hear inner dialogues of chatter like yourself talking to yourself all right you some of y'all some of y'all might hear other people talking 
You know what I mean? But you're going to know it's a different dialect going on in your mind versus what's happening in the everyday reality. You're going to know it's totally different. You're going to know that this is the theta state, okay? The theta. You're going to be in the theta state. You're going to start having visions and hallucinations. Sometimes you might wake up and just be like, oh, shit, like, because you still are, like, trying to stay conscious at the same time. But just go back to sleep and keep doing it. And then you're going to be in the theta. Okay, theta is the the theta is the the is the consciousness right in between your waking reality versus you about to sleep. Okay, so in the theta is when you will experience yourself astral project. Some of y'all might you might feel your your soul coming up out your body on top of your uh, bed, or some of you might uh, be walking around in your room like right before you go into Delta. Uh, uh, like I said, it'll be different for everybody. Okay, but You'll get the little flash. You'll get a little flash of insight and you'll know that you did it right if you do this, what I'm telling you to do tonight, okay? Give it a thumbs up in this video if you're going to do this tonight, all right? If you're going to try this technique. Now, after that, what's going to happen is you're going to forget and then you're going to go into Delta. You're going to go into the Delta waves, which is REM sleep, okay? It's the deepest state of sleep, consciousness, all right? In REM sleep, that's when you don't you don't hear nobody around you. If noise is around you, you don't hear it. Your eyes are twitching. You're having dreams. You know, one, two, three, four. How many dreams you have at night? You are in Delta state of, of, of sleep consciousness when you are in Delta. Now, that is the area of sleep where you get to experience your lucid dreams, okay? And like I say, if you get in the habit of doing this regularly, you your body will get adapted to the fact that you about to go to sleep and have a lucid dream. But you got to get sleep. And you got to train your body to be prepared for when you're about to relax and lay down. Okay, so that's the two states of consciousness you need to remember for sleep. Theta and Delta. Okay, if you, if you want to know more about this information, look up the states of sleep consciousness on Google after this video. They'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you. All right. So, um, you know, um, so another thing you got to know is this, man, like... So what I do, what I try to do when I'm going to sleep and I'm and I'm in my theta, what I'll try to do, because when you in, when you in theta, you got superpowers. Remember, you tapping into the spiritual world, so it ain't no limits in the spiritual world. If you can get if you can get used to being in theta in that flash before you go into the lucid dream, because lucid dreams are very hard to control. Like you got to be a master at it. Like you got to be in a lucid dream like a million times for you to start to understand how to make things happen the way that you want them to happen in your dreams. Like you might be able to make things happen from time to time, but you're not going to be able to master that shit in this in this lifetime. Trust me, that shit is extremely hard to master. And that movie Inception, that is a movie. That is not really what's going on. People that can, that's a whole nother level. All right. But anyway, um. Like when you like just try what I'm telling y'all to do, man. Like when you get into that theta mode, just do random shit. Like like this morning, what I did was I I try I fell off the bed. Like I was laying down sideways, but I knew I was in theta. So what I did was as my soul, being my soul, what I did was I turned my soul around and I fell off the bed on purpose. Cause I knew I was I would I was dreaming. And I could feel like I can hear my mind like being like it, it was like my mind was like it's like a sleep mind when you sleep if y'all know what i mean but anyway i fell off the bed and i knew i was in my soul then so my body was still on the bed i'm on the floor and i don't remember me getting up or nothing but the next thing you know i flashed back into my body again but i was still my soul you know what i mean the umbilical cord is still connected to you so you cannot get away from your body and so what i did was um i, I tried to pick up my ipad in my as my soul as as I was astral projecting so I didn't you don't pick shit up and you don't got to do it it's you got superpowers so when I thought when I thought of even having my iPad in my hand it came in my hand like that it came in my hand just like that um I did my cell phone my cell phone was on my charger as soon as I as soon as I thought I want my cell phone in my hand now I'm doing this consciously but I'm asleep my cell phone was in my hand like boom quick these are the powers that you have when you dream. If you are able to lucid dream and know how to control your dreams, you'll notice that in the in the in the in the blink of an eye, any, anything that you think, it will just it'll just like be present at that moment. That's why I'm telling you how to do this because if there is something that you're trying to do in your everyday reality, like um, find out something about a relationship, or if you're trying to make more money, or if you're trying to figure out what choice you should make, any damn thing, any anything that you're trying to figure out that you're having a hard time understanding, if you go in your dreams, 
if you if you go into your dreams and approach it in the manner that I'm telling you, and you learn this technique, you will get answers from your dreams that you can't get in where in regular awakened reality. Okay, if you want to know, if you want to, if you want to create a more better visualization of you being rich, for an example, if you want to have more money, but you have a hard time attracting money to you now because in your awakened state of reality, you're the type of person to, to, to you know, you just it's just hard for you to get over your circumstance, so to speak. But you want to have a better visualization of yourself being rich. You will use this technique. And then when you get to learn how to like get in uh, Delta and lucid dream and all that shit. Like you can think about money while you dreaming lucidly and then you will see what yourself looks like with being rich, you know, or you'll get to feel like what a stack of cash actually feels like. Or you could ride in your new uh, your dream car for the first time in your whole life while in your dreams. So that way, when you awaken in regular reality, it's literally as if you have just drove in that fucking car. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're really doing the same things in the spiritual world that you are doing in this in the physical world why do you think when you go to sleep and you have a lot of dreams at night you wake up tired that's why because you you're doing the same thing here in the physical world but we just can't see it because like i said we just been all dumbed down and just you know bottled up with so much fear and led astray but hey we co-creating our own reality today your big brother trend genius i told you i was never gonna ever steal you wrong astral projection dreams lucid dreams ghost it's all good baby it's all good man it's all positive energy man we live in our life okay we live in our life and we are we're gonna always attract greater things to us how many of you were interested in this video make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if this the type of stuff that you like me to talk about okay because i'm gonna make more of it if you like it but you gotta press thumbs up so i can you know be notified that this is a great video also if you are a dreaming type person and you have a lot of dreams at night lucid dreams if you know about these terms i just used gamma waves theta beta all this stuff comment below i want to know what your dream life is like what did you have dreams about last night okay write it out maybe somebody like me can give you an interpretation of what your dreams mean because once you learn how to dream baby anything is possible thank you so much for tuning in to this video make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon right there click the face icon and make sure you got the bell notification turned on so you could be notified as soon as I upload videos and some of y'all ain't went to the YouTube settings and enabled YouTube notifications. That's why you don't get my videos. You got to go to the YouTube app and go to settings and enable notifications so you can get my videos as soon as your big brother trend genius uploaded. I'll see y'all in one of my other videos. Y'all stay blessed. Oh, my birthday, December 18th. Don't you forget. Peace.